The assault on Avdivka is turning into one of the most brutal fighting of the Ukraine war as Russia launches waves of attacks. Russian forces have reportedly suffered high casualties and large equipment losses during their push for the town in the eastern Donetsk Oblast that they launched at the start of October. The Russians have suffered serious losses. At least 36 Russian tanks and armored vehicles were destroyed in the week. And according to the Kyiv Post, that figure has risen to 102 tanks and 150 armored vehicles lost. Over the past three weeks, Russia has likely lost around 500 armored vehicles during its assaults on the Donbass town of Avdivka. This is likely due to a combination of relative effectiveness of Ukraine's modern handheld anti-armor weapons, mines, uncrewed aerial vehicle dropped munitions, and precision artillery systems. In response, Russian forces have highly likely switched to conducting dismounted infantry-based assaults in this sector. Ukrainian forces faced similar tactical challenges as the attacking force over the summer. New video released by Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade shows a Russian attack column being hit and damaged by artillery strikes during a failed attack in the Avdivka sector in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region. The assault forces are facing a lethal combination of Ukrainian weapons, including first-person view drones, anti-tank missiles, artillery, and mortars able to wreck tanks. The video shows an assaulting column of Russian tanks led by mine-clearing vehicles and followed by at least 15 armored personnel carriers. The first Russian losses come when a tank attempting to drive through a wood line hit anti-tank landmines. Like previous Russian offensives, the Avdivka assaults have often been characterized by advances across open ground, leading to high losses. It is plausible that Russia has suffered several thousand personnel casualties around the town since the start of October 2023. Russian losses near Avdivka in Donetsk Oblast have included almost 7,000 soldiers die or wounded, 200 tanks, and 321 other armored vehicles in the past three weeks, the 47th Mechanized Brigade said on November 6th. Avdivka is a stronghold of Ukraine that has been solidly built over the past eight years. This strategic fortress is located north of the city of Donetsk, which has seen fierce fighting in recent weeks. Russia's attack on the region appears to be an attempt by Russia to seek a symbolic victory. Ukraine's general staff reported that Ukrainian forces had been holding back the Russian offensive near Avdivka and repelled Russian advances near the settlements of Siverne, six kilometers west of Avdivka, Tonenka, eight kilometers west of Avdivka, and Pervomaiske, 11 kilometers southwest of Avdivka. They have also attacked on several fronts but failed to reach their goals, with a total of 50 clashes taking place on the front over the past day. Valery Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of Ukraine's armed forces, believes that the war with Russia is moving to a new stage, positional warfare with static and attritional fighting. To win, Ukraine needs advanced technologies. Despite heavy losses, Russia still had superiority in weapons, equipment, missiles, and ammunition, Valery Zaluzhny warned, calling on Ukraine's allies to deliver warplanes and drones, as well as modern electronic warfare and mine-breaching technology, among other things. The Institute for the Study of War said the Russian forces are amassing personnel and equipment for a third massive assault on Avdivka after two failed attacks in the last month, adding that the Russians are likely to focus their offensive on the ACCP in the northern part of Avdivka. Russian forces will continue intensifying assaults on Avdivka, Donetsk Oblast, hoping to seize the town by the end of 2023. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine estimates that today Russia has approximately 400,000 troops in Ukraine, about a quarter of them up to 100,000 are concentrated in the Lyman-Kupiansk front, another 40,000 are near Avdivka, where they are actively trying to surround the city. According to ISW experts, Russian forces continued offensive operations near Avdivka and made confirmed gains on Avdivka's northern flank. 
Geolocated footage published on November 6 indicates that Russian forces advance southwest of Krasnohorivka, four kilometers north of Avdivka, towards the railway line north of Avdivka. The Ukrainian military showed a video of the launch of a salvo of three U.S. ATA CMS missiles on missile troops and artillery day on November 4th. Rare footage of the new weapon in action in the country. The Ukrainian armed forces attacked occupied Crimea with these missiles for the first time. The U.S. Department of Defense announced additional security assistance to meet Ukraine's critical security and defense needs. This includes the drawdown of security assistance from Department of Defense inventories valued at up to $125 million to meet Ukraine's immediate battlefield needs. This announcement includes the Biden administration's 50th tranche of equipment to be provided from Department of Defense inventories for Ukraine since August 2021. Specific capabilities in this package include Javelin and AT-4 anti-armor systems, more than 3 million rounds of small arms ammunition and grenades, 12 trucks to transport heavy equipment, maintenance and additional munitions for national advanced surface-to-air missile systems. The United States remains committed to working with some 50 allies and partners who are providing Ukraine with the capabilities it needs to defend itself now and deter Russian aggression well into the future. Our allies and partners have stepped up to provide approximately $35 billion in security assistance to Ukraine. 